Hey there, Levy here and today we are going over some advanced tips for Albion Online. Today's tips are all about our companions who carry us through the world of Albion, so that we can transport goods, have PvP battles, conquer territories and pick up girls in dungeons. There is so much more to mount that I'm learning as I go about playing the game and in this video I will share some of the more advanced things I have learned so far with you. The first tip is that certain mounts have an advantage that comes with a not so obvious disadvantage. I'm talking about mounts that have an active ability. An active ability on its own sounds like an enormous advantage. One more tool to succeed in whatever it is you are trying to do. But did you know that the active ability shares its cooldown with your equipment ability? That's right, whatever slot your mount active ability is on shares the cooldown with that very same slot's equipment ability. To give you an example, let's take a look at the Black Panther, which I think is a pretty cool mount. The active ability the Black Panther has is called Predator Sprint, and when you use it, you get a huge movement speed boost for a short duration. As you can see in the description, this skill has a cooldown of 1 minute. Notice what happens when I use the mount ability and dismount shortly after. The 1 minute cooldown continues ticking on my boots. And this is the disadvantage I'm talking about. Not only can I not use my boots ability right after dismounting, it now also has a much longer cooldown. Normally, my boots have 30 seconds cooldown, but because the mount ability overrides it, my boots ability isn't available to me for a much longer time. Some of the mount abilities have an even higher cooldown, such as the Pest Lizard, which happens to be on the E slot, meaning you won't be able to use your weapon special ability for 2 minutes after using the Toxic Cloud. This will put you at a huge disadvantage if you find yourself in a PvP situation. Not being able to use your weapon special ability is never worth it for a Toxic Cloud. So make sure to assess each individual situation before using your mount's active ability, and remember that it will put your equipment ability on cooldown as well. The second tip is that you can mount up whilst you are snared. Now this is something I just happened to catch whilst rewatching one of our PvP fights and I was pretty surprised this was a thing because personally I wouldn't ever have thought about it. In fact you can see in the clip I'm not mounting up whilst my teammates are and this is because at that precise moment I had no idea this was even possible. I always thought being rooted would put you in combat and not allow you to mount up and never realized it actually doesn't. Normally, when you are in combat, you cannot mount up. You can simply see the cooldown on your mount whenever this is the case. However, when you aren't in combat any longer and the mount ability becomes available, apparently you can mount up even if the enemy snares you. I think especially this one was very interesting and I'm curious to whether you know any other mount or dismount interactions just like this one that might not be as obvious. If you do, let me know in the comments below. It's often recommended you are on a quick mount so that you can travel fast and have a better chance of escaping when you run into gankers. And in tip 3 I'm going to teach you how you can trade a little bit of speed for a lot more profit. So the standard mount for about anything in Albion Online is the Swift Claw, which has 120% movement speed and as of making this video costs about 110k silver. However, the Swift Claw doesn't have anything special to it, such as an active or passive skill. The tier 6 Riding Horse has 115% movement speed, which is 5% less than the Swift Claw, and the price for it is about 130k silver right now, which means it's also 20k more expensive. However, unlike the Swift Claw, the Riding Horse does have a passive, which increases your maximum carry load by 155. You will typically get a lot of runes, relics, souls and treasures as drops, and these quickly add up in weight. So for just 20k silver and a loss of 5% movement speed, you get an additional tier 7 back through your mount. If you take the riding horse over the swift claw, you will have to spend less time on traveling back and forth, you need to delete less items because you otherwise become overweight and in general make much more profit and progress per hour. On that note, any of the boots in the game also have the courier passive, so if you ever need extra weight on the spot, you can always swap to that as well. Let's talk about the Bighorn Ram in tip 4. The Bighorn Ram is the Martlock faction mount. Each one of the 5 factions has a mount, but I think the developers thought the Martlock faction shouldn't have one, which is why they created the Bighorn Ram. At first glance the Bighorn Ram looks like any other mount. Pretty slow movement speed, but quite some defenses, a good chunk of health and even max load to make up for that. Sounds like a decent amount to transport stuff through the blue and yellow zones for beginners. 
Now, personally, I wouldn't dip my head into the red or black zone with this mount because the movement speed is just far too low. In fact, if we look at the Fort Sterling faction mount, which is the Winter Bear, the only type of dipping I would do with the Bighorn Ram would be to dip that mount altogether. The Winter Bear has almost double the health, 10% more movement speed, more defenses on each one of the stats, most noticeably the CC resistance, which is more than double, and can even carry more than the Bighorn Ram. A lot of reasons to not use the Bighorn Ram for the time being. Tip 5 is that currently most mounts aren't affected by their quality. Quality does a lot of good for equipment in the game and provides up to 100 additional item power. When something is crafted as a masterpiece, it's an entire extra tier on top of your equipment level. If you look at a piece of armor or a weapon, you can see that as the quality of it increases, so do many of the different stats on it. You get more health, damage, magical resistance, bonus energy, and a lot more stats that increase based on the quality of your item. However, as it is right now, quality doesn't do anything for the mounts in the game. If we look at the Swift Claw, there is absolutely no difference between a normal one and a masterpiece. You don't get more health, nor does your movement speed increase. One of the mounts that is affected by the quality is the Armored Horse, which only gets a tiny bit of additional defenses as a bonus. But if we look at how little that bonus is, it's simply not worth taking the quality of an Armored Horse into account either. Same goes for the Oxen, which also get a tiny bit of defenses, but also become able to carry a little more as a bonus as the quality increases. But once again, not worth the price difference. Now I haven't checked each and every mount in the game, but as it is right now, it simply doesn't seem like quality does anything special or worthy for the mounts. But I do recall hearing rumors, or perhaps I might have read somewhere in the patch notes that this will change, and that the quality of the mounts will matter more at a certain point. Now I do get my occasional Albion Online dreams, so I might have seen it in one of them as well, therefore don't take this as a confirmation or an official statement. I hope you learned a thing or two from these tips about our companions, and if you have any mount tips of your own, feel free to share them in the comments. In the description below, you will find links to other LB Online tips videos I've made so far, and also a link to the recent community post where various players have shared their tips with us. You can see some of the mount related tips on your screen right now, as we head to the ending of this video. A big thanks to everyone that posted there, keep up the community vibes. You are all making this so much more fun to do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tap that notification bell, invest in cryptocurrency, feature cat, and I'll see you guys next time.